Welcome to how to tutorial on setting up text to speech on Final Fantasy XIV Online. Please be aware to use this at your own risk. Firstly, we need to download the Dalamud Launcher. A direct link will be added within the description. Once you enter the GitHub page, now click on the download the latest setup.exe from release. Now click on the setup.exe and select the download location. Once downloaded, now run and install the launcher. Now select the directory path. If you use Steam, do not forget to click on the Enable Steam Integration button, otherwise it will not work. Now click on the next button. Make sure the DirectX 11 is checked. DirectX 9 isn't supported. Now click the next button to continue. Select your specific language to you. The default is English. Now hit the next button. Now make sure you check mark the enabled Dalla mode. Then progress by clicking the next button to the launcher page. Now log in with your Final Fantasy account and it should automatically launch the game. If it doesn't, click the launch button. Now that we have managed to install the Dalamod launcher and get into the game, we need to install the text to speech plugin within the Dalamod plugin menu. Now click on Dalamod plugins. Now type in TTS into the search and it will show up with the text to speech plugin and click install. It'll take a few moments to install. Now click on the cog button once enabled. Now it'll come up with further settings for the Dalamod plugin. You can enable and disable the plugin by using a keybind. We can set this up by using either Shift, Control or Alt plus any letter from A to Z. To make sure the audio sounds more natural, we'll need to make it so that the NPC only says the name once while at the start of the chat. Make sure the following are ticked. Number one, cancel current NPC speech. When new text is available, a text is advanced. Number two, enable X says when people speak. Number three, also say name NPC says in NPC dialogue. Number four, say player world name and number five and only say character name says for the first time a character speaks. Now you have the options of system, which is default Windows voices, WebSocket, Amazon Polly, Uber Duck or Azure Cognetic Services. If you wish for me to do a tutorial on Uber Duck and Azure Cognetic Services, please leave a comment below. This tutorial will be covering Amazon Polly only. The first voice we are going to enable will be the default Windows voices, Hazel. Click on the preset and select Hazel voice since it's a stable compared to zero. We're now going to test Hazel to make sure the text to speech works correctly. Gontran says the people of the 12 s always look If you wish to get a more realistic AI voices, we can set up Amazon Polly. Please be aware that you get 12 months help. free. I have linked the prices in the description below. We need to first go onto Google and type in Amazon Polly. It will direct you to the Amazon AWS website. Now you need to create a new account or log in if you have one. Be aware, when creating a new account, it may ask you for bank details. In my case, I can just log in because I have an account. Now we are on the dashboard. You need to type in I am in the search bar. Now click on the user button in the left hand side and click on add user. Now give the user a name. I've named it FMMO and click on the next button. Now you need to click on attach policy directly. Now type in poly. It will bring up Amazon poly full access. Make sure this is ticked and then click the next button. Now that we're on the review page, just click the create user button. Now I'll click on the username itself. This will load the dashboard. Please click on security credentials. Now scroll down to access keys and click on create access key. Now make sure you click on third party services. Do not worry about the warning below. Just press the next button. Feel free to set a description tag value and click on create access key. Now you need these two access keys, which is access key and secret access key. You need to log back into the game. Now that you're in the game, click on Dalamog plugins. Go on to the settings. Now you need to select Amazon Polly. You need to select what region you're in. Once you've done this, you need to copy the Amazon access key and the secret access key into the login settings of the Amazon Polly and click on save and login. Now that you've saved and logged in, you have Amazon installed within Dalamog plugin. We need to set up a few things before it can 100% work for voices. So now we're logged into Amazon Polly settings, we can create a new preset profile. Name the profile anything you wish. I've named it General Voices since it will be the main voices if you're not sure what type of gender. I selected Matthew for ungendered presets. 
make sure you enable use gendered voices. Now further options will appear. Select the profile you've named general voices for ungendered. Now we need to create a new preset for male voices. For the male voices the selected Matthew. Now select male profile for male voices. Lastly let's create one more profile. We'll name it female. This will be for the female voices. Now we need to select female voice. I will go with Amy. Now you need to go down and select the female profile. Now we've completed the setup for Amazon Polly. We need to test this. The Smith says, how are you enjoying the life of an adventurer? The people of Erzia are beset by troubles both mundane and deadly, and there are many who would welcome a helping hand from a stalwart hero. Mother Moon says, welcome to the Carleen Canopy, a place of respite for adventurers like yourself. Now text-to-speech works, you can alter the pitch and volume of your liking. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please feel free to provide any feedback within the comments.